YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating you how to create a 3D text, 3D glossy text with GIMP 2.8. Okay. We take file a new or a shortcut which is control N when I'm using. I'm going to use the size of the defaults. Here. Now, choose your text tool. The only one I'm using is sans bold, one of the just normal defaults, and the size 150. We can show the text exactly, horizontally and vertically with the sections tool. Click the text to get the small box in the top. Now click these two buttons to center the text exactly. Now right click on the text layer and take layer to image size. Now duplicate this layer. And you can turn it off with clicking this eye over here. Then click the middle one. The original one. Now we can concentrate on the text. Now we use this this uh, tool over here. I'm not really sure what it's called, but you see, you know the passer, you know making circles, you know. Click that button. Now we have to choose the vanishing points. The best uh, best uh, way to des uh, describe it is to tell which angle you're watching the 3D from, underneath, above, or just here from. About to the, go about to the middle where you want your vanishing point. Hold the mouse key and hold the control key and draw a straight line to the edge. Then you can release. And here down you see how many pixels it is from the uh, the vanisher. We have to remember this. 307. Okay. Take a new one and take one to vertically to the top. We see here it's 198 in the button. You see, so we have to remember that too, like this. Okay, then right click on your text, go to filters, blur, motion blur, and now we have to remember what we, uh, what we have uh, made for the effect. So it was 307 for the X. You have to have in zoom and please remember this is unchecked, not checked, unchecked. And the length is about from uh, is 30. And click OK. Now we have a blur here as you see. And now we have to make a gradient to it. So take your select by color tool over here and click somewhere in the white area. Then right, uh, right click, go to select, invert. Go to your blend tool. The shape is going to be linear and it's going to be FG to BG. Go about here and draw a line here. Okay, now we can uh, click the other layer the above to see again. And with this we see the 3D effects we have made. You know select none. Then go to your text layer and click off of selection to make a glossiness. Take your ellipsing tool here and the third one option we gotta use this. this. Now we have to shrink it a little bit. So right click, select, shrink with two. Not one, two. Okay. Go to your blend tool. The, the mode is
is going to be FG to transparent and we're going to use white as a foreground color now we have add the glossiness to it we take select and none to see the effect here we have the text but we want to change a little bit I give you a blur to the 3 dness so go to the uh, to the middle text where is the gradient and now right click go from filters blur gaussian blur and go have to be 2 in both click ok now we have add a small blur to the edge you see here and now we can make a background so go to your background layer take your blending tool FG to BG shape radio foreground color light blue and draw a line like this and here you have it the text I wanted to make thank you for watching feel free to subscribe and I hope you like this video Please leave a comment if you want to have any request of video ideas. But now, I see you in the next one, so please subscribe for more advanced tutorials. See you in the next one.